Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Facebook ads to Google Sheets in 2023. So, of course, Facebook ads with Google Sheets allows for seamless data management and analysis. So, in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate your Facebook ads account with Google Sheets for efficient data tracking. So, let's dive right into this and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign in into your Facebook Ads Manager. To do so, make sure to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, go to this URL section, basically here you'll have to type Facebook ads and hit the enter button then make sure to click on this first link which is your customers are here find them with meta ads facebook of course you can even click on ads manager if you want to so here if you have an account you can simply go to the top right corner and click on login or sign in instead of my uh, icon here or click on start now to create a new account you'll find that this at uh, this right of that option if you don't know nothing about it of course the facebook ads you can as you can see uh, scroll down and read more information about the website and how it's working and etc and of course, if you want to start advertising, go to advertising, go to ads manager. And from here, you'll be able to start creating your ads and campaigns. Of course, now what you'll need to do, is simply go to Google Sheets or simply type sheets.google.com and hit the enter button. Or you can simply type like Google Sheets and enter the first link like this one, like type Google Sheets and go to the first link as you can see from here you'll be able to sign in into your account if you don't have an account and if you have an account you'll have to go and click uh, on sign in if you don't you'll have to go and click on try sheets for work and basically this is just like excel if you know it and if you don't of course it's very easy to use it's for management and a lot of other stuff so if you type like sheets.google.com this will take you right away to the spreadsheets which is very helpful as you can see i didn't log in because i'm already like logged into my google account and this will do everything for me now what i'll need to do simply open a new tab because if i want to connect google, uh, facebook ads to google sheets i'll need the tool for me in this tutorial i'll use zapier tool or a tool called zapier open a new tab go here and type zapier.com and hit the enter button once you do so, you'll be taken, of course, to their home screen or main screen. If you don't know nothing about Zapier, if you heard of it before, just go to the top right corner, of course, and hit login option and login into your accounts and access, of course, your dashboard. But if you don't know nothing about it, scroll down, as you can see, read more information about it. So build custom workflow, get more power from your tools. Basically, it's a just automation tool that will link two accounts, two websites, two, uh, just two options with each other and automates like something with Zaps. And of course, you can see here what people saying about it, and basically we'll have a general idea about it. So if you're interested about pricing, here is it. Some apps on this website will require from you to have the premium plan or professional plan to get all the unlimited premium apps. So make sure to get that if you want it. Of course, this tool is very, very useful. So this pricing, as I said, yearly and monthly, if you're interested to see. Now, of course, I'll just go to the top right corner and click on login and continue with Google. Of course, for you, you can log in or create an account with Google, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, SSO, if you are if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. Once you are on your dashboard, go to this list panel and click on apps. And once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Make sure to start by Facebook ads or just type ads. And as you can see, you'll find like Facebook leads ads and uh, Google ads. So for those, I'm already like connected to it for you. If you're not connected yet, as you can see, you'll find uh, whatever you want here. So we can even like type Facebook ads. If you didn't type, uh, find any, just type Facebook, Facebook. And as you can see, you'll find this here. So make sure to click on Facebook lead ads. Or if you want like the for business admins, make sure to connect that. So click connect. And of course, make sure to allow everything. Once you do it, of course, you'll be taken here and you will find those connections. For me, I'll just delete two connections here because I have too many. You'll need just one. Or do the same, of course, for Google Sheets. So go here and type like Sheets. And as you can see, Google Sheets. So click on Connect. And make sure to choose the, the right account on Google Accounts and make sure to allow the connection. As you can see, I don't have the connection yet, so I'll have to do it. And as you can see, now we have the connections. We go here to Apps. 
we'll find Google Lead Ads is connected and Google Sheets is connected also. Now, I'll simply go to the select panel, click on Create Zap. Here, we have two ways of doing it. We can use this AI tool. As you can see, this is very helpful. If you give it all the details that you want, it will simply create the triggers, the events, the actions, and the events of it. Or everything will take it or will create it automatically. If you want to do it manually, you can do it. Click on trigger, choose the app, choose the events. Same for action, choose the app and the events. And of course, make sure to sell any status that aren't solved and turn it on, and you will be good to go. If you want to use this AI tool, you can simply as an example type here. I'll just type as an example here, connect like uh, Facebook ads to google like it's for you just type as many details as you can so you'll be able of course to have the exact same same thing that you want as an example like you can type here i'll just type it why not uh like as an example when i have a new lead and facebook ads like i'll just type here create um new google sheet a uh, new sheets our new google sheets and enter uh i don't know or let's just dive, just create a new google sheets so and click on generate so that's what i came up with and let's just see what they're gonna do to us so as you can see creates google sheets for new facebook leads by uh, facebook ads so as you can see click on try it once you click don't try it. They will kind of do everything for you. Make sure to solve those status. So as you can see, for Facebook ads, we'll have to choose an account. And for spreadsheets, we'll have to choose an account. So they will ask us to choose an account. I'll just choose this. And of course, this trigger will change depending on the event that you choose. For me, I choose here new lead. So the trigger will uh, change from that. So make sure to fill all uh, these required fields. And you will have to do the same for Google Sheets. So here, of course, I'll choose this one. And click on continue for the action of course you'll have to choose uh, like google drive and switch spreadsheet uh, to fill on you can even like create a new one do the custom whatever you want once you finish everything make sure to make a test or zapier actually will make like automation automatic tests for you if it's worked uh, you will receive an uh, like a notification that everything works successfully all you need to do now is simply turn it on and the automation will be on and you basically like connected Facebook ads with Google Sheets and when you create like a new lead it will create a new spreadsheet uh, so basically you can do whatever you want with the AI tool before if you don't know like much about this and you'll be good to go so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching of course if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one so thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next video